Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So there were so many announcements last month, right, about Copilot uh, in Microsoft 365 in the Power Platform. Great, great new functionality that's coming. So this video, I'm actually going to talk about Copilot uh, with Power Virtual Agents and how that works, how we can actually now start to create topics a lot faster uh, than we could before. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is that you have to keep in mind that Copilots for Power Virtual Agents is still in preview, right? So this is not a finished product yet. Keep that in mind. And the other thing, if you want to test this out, this only currently works in conjunction with the existing preview for Power Virtual Agents, right? With that new authoring Canvas experience, the conversation booster, right? All of those types of things. So make sure that uh, you actually are going to test this or try to test this in one of those preview bots, right? So I actually have one, I even called it preview bot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that and then I'm gonna show you some of the things that we can do with Copilot for Power Virtual Agents. All right, so here I am in my preview bot, that is in preview. And if you click on topics, you'll notice on the top here that if you now click on new topic here, this little drop down, we now have the ability to create a topic with Copilot, right? This is really, really cool. I'm going to click on that. And the only thing we have to do here is we obviously have to name our, our topic. So I'm going to create a pizza ordering topic and then create a topic too. This section is, is where you're going to enter the information that kind of describes what you want that topic to do. So I'm, I'm gonna just use one of those examples. So we're gonna let somebody order a pizza where they're choosing from common pizza types and they're gonna select how many pizzas they want to order. Then I'm gonna hit create and I actually noticed that the name of your topic is important because that's actually what it uses to generate those trigger phrases, right? So you see, I have 10 here. I have, I want to order a pizza. Can I get a pizza? I'd like to buy a pizza, right? All of that, all of those trigger phrases. And then if I scroll down, we can see the first question, what type of pizza would you like to order? It's actually identifying that entity, right? Saying multiple choice options. We're gonna use pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And then we're gonna save that response inside of this variable that is calling pizza type, which is a type of choice variable. Wow. And then we have another question. How many pizzas do you like to order, right? It's choosing the entity of number, which means that the data that the bot is receiving we're looking for a number and it's now saving that response in a number type of variable called pizza quantity. And then lastly, it's showing the message, right? Pizza quantity, pizza choice uh, or pizza type and then pizza. So it could be like five veggie pizzas, right? That's the message that we're say, sending to the customer. So this is pretty impressive, right? I didn't have to do a lot and I've already built a topic by just explaining to Copilot what I wanted to do. Is that all what we can do with Copilot? No, not at all. You can see here it also has a section that says edit with Copilot. That means that we can edit existing topics or we can do what I just did, create a topic with Copilot and then edit that with Copilot, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and save this topic real quick. And then I'm going to use edit with Copilot to hopefully build out some additional functionality, right? So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to actually ask another question, right? So I want to actually add a question where I'm going to ask, 
what type of toppings they want on their pizza. So I'm going to click on edit with Copilot, right? I'm going to add a question to ask what toppings they want to add. And I want to use common pizza topping types. You can see I have one node selected. So that's basically clicking on any of those nodes. I'm going to unclick on that on that. So now it says no node selected. I'm going to click update. So right, maybe instead of this particular question where it says, how many pizzas would you like to order? That's now a number type of variable. If you wanted to change that, you could probably just click on that question and then enter, right? What you want to change in that node and then Copilot should do that. All right. So let's see what has happened right now. If I scroll all the way down, oh, it's actually putting the question below this message. I don't want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this message here real quick. So now I have my first question, my second question, and I have my third question, which is also multiple choice options. And it's saving that response as a choice variable in a pizza toppings variable. That's the name of that variable. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Now let's say that we want to, let's see here. We want to actually summarize the information that we gathered from the user in an adaptive card, right? So this is, these are just some examples so I can click on that. And then again, I can click update. And now if I scroll down, I can enter a message. I can say your order. And then this is that card, right? The adaptive card. Now let's go ahead and save that. Now I want to test this. Let's take a look here. I'm going to test my bot. I'm going to say, I want pizza. What type of pizza would you like to order? Let's do pepperoni. How many pizzas? Let's do three. And then what toppings would I like to add? I'm going to go with sausage. And look at that. There's my adaptive card. So this is pretty impressive, right guys? Like I didn't do a lot and look at that. I have a very nice topic with several questions and an adaptive card. So this is pretty neat. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you here is another thing that we can do. Cause you saw, we can do messages. We can do questions. There's another thing that we can do here. So let's go back up here. I'm going to actually delete this card for a second. And let's say that I want to change something. Um, let me actually also delete this. And again, I'm going to go ahead and edit with Copilot. And what I want to do right now is I want to add a condition that if that quantity is greater than 20, I want to show a message that says I don't have 20 pizzas. So, and that's related to this question, right? I have one node selector right now. So I'm going to update and look at that. Look at what it did. It actually said, I'm going to close this. It actually says if the pizza quantity number is greater than 20, well, actually we need to say is greater than 19, right? 19 is still fine. Then it's going to say we don't have 20 pizzas. And otherwise it's going to say we have 19 pizzas, right? So you can do things like that as well. Now, normally, if you are actually configuring this yourself, you would probably, I'm going to close this. You would probably just click into this question, into question behavior. And then you would probably put your condition here, right? You would say pizza quantity is greater than or equal to 20. And then here is your condition not met prompt, right? The prompt to send when the identified entity does not pass these validation roles, right? So you can do stuff like that. So this kind of tells you that Copilot does not really know how to do that yet, right? It also doesn't know how to do power FX formulas just yet. So that's definitely 
important to understand. And again, I'm sure that that's probably something that's going to come later, right? This is kind of in its infancy as of today, right? And again, also keep in mind that this is a preview uh, feature currently, but I did want to highlight that. So just kind of as a recap, right? So during the preview, Copilot can create messages, questions, and as I just showed you, conditions as well when we are creating and editing those topics. So other nodes are not supported at this time, right? We can do other things as well, right? Because we can um, set a variable value. You can see here some topic management stuff here as well. So it can't do any of those things. It can also not configure right these types of things the reprompts uh, and the additional entity validation it can't do that today but all in all i have to say i'm super impressed with this new functionality and so you'll have to admit right like building topics this way is so much faster and so much easier and this is definitely going to be the case for uh, new power virtual agent makers I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.